Welcome back to the Core Cars News Tech Lab. Today we're taking a look at the brand new AT&T TV Now app, giving you a quick first look at what you can expect when this rolls out to your Roku, Fire TV, Apple TV, and more um, in the coming weeks. But I wanted to remind everybody of one important thing. AT&T TV and AT&T TV Now are two different services. They may be sharing the same backend, the same um, app basically may be the same, but just like DirecTV and DirecTV Now are two different services, AT&T TV and AT&T TV Now will be two different services. Be careful about trying to apply what AT&T says about AT&T TV Now to DirecTV customers being changed over to AT&T TV Now, as you see on the screen. So keep that in mind. I do have a full breakdown of what we know about AT&T TV as a YouTube video in the show notes down below. If you want to read that or watch it, we have a written post down there too. But with that said, that out of the way, let's take a look at AT&T TV now. A couple weeks ago, AT&T announced that they're rebranding DirecTV now into AT&T TV now, and that they would start updating the apps. Last night, the first device to get the new AT&T TV now app was their Android powered beta box. This is a box that AT&T says they've been beta testing, intended to use with AT&T TV, but will also work for AT&T TV now. Um, but it's primarily built for the AT&T TV side of it, which is a service that's basically a streaming version of DirecTV and Uverse TV. Now, past the name change on this, you're not going to notice much of a difference here. AT&T has announced that this new app will be rolling out to Roku, Fire TV, Apple TV, and more in the coming weeks. And they've already put a warning that this will be changing soon. You do have to agree to a new set of terms of service when that is uh, first updated. There was a little splash screen that says, click here to rate the new terms, click here to accept them. And then it launched right into this. The only difference being is they've removed the uh, upcoming uh, beta box or beta logo in the top left hand corner, but things like DVR recordings and more still maintain the beta logo. Discovery and all that is exactly the same as it was before. So keep that in mind. There really is not a difference here at all. Let's jump over to the guide to give you an idea of the guide. Again, if you've been a DirecTV customer um, you're, or DirecTV now, you're gonna be right at home. The only difference here is the fact that with the Osprey, you have the uh, channel numbers because the Android TV box here codename Osprey. I don't think they're going to sell it under that name though. Um, has a keypad so I can enter like 206 or 207 and take me to ESPN and ESPN2, etc. So it's a pretty nice um, setup. It's a pretty nice little device. It works really well. It works exactly like DirecTV now did on all the other remotes or devices. Honestly, again, if I could say this a hundred times, if you're a DirecTV customer, the only thing you should expect to change right now is your logo. The logo of the app is changing, everything else is remaining the same. A few customers who use the Android TV box all the time that you're seeing here have said that there's been some minor improvements. I haven't really noticed any. It seems to be pretty much the same with the fact that they've removed the beta logo in the top left hand corner. Everything else is the same here. You see, since this is running Android TV, I can install all the Android TV apps here. Now, past that, nothing's changed. Keep in mind, AT&T TV is like DirecTV. AT&T TV now is DirecTV now rebranded. Confusing name, especially when you consider that they have AT&T Watch TV, a completely separate third live TV streaming service there, gets even more confusing. But I hope this quick look helps. A few important notes here. This box was probably updated first because our sources are telling us that later this month in a couple test markets, AT&T will start testing AT&T TV in their markets. Our AT&T employees have told us that you'll be able, you either be given during the beta, may be required to buy later one of these Android TV powered devices. Once you have one, you will be able to use Android um, or AT&T TV apps on Roku, Fire TV, Apple TV, etc. One person who doesn't work for AT&T but does work in the industry of TV said that that may be because they want to use DirecTV contracts by putting a box in your home may satisfy some contractual obligations they have about in-home TV versus out-of-home streaming and different things, much like PlayStation View and Hulu have different rules for watching their networks in their house than outside their home. 
It may come down to their contracts with the networks and the like that are making that a reality. So I would keep that in mind. Now, we have heard that at some point in the future, maybe not right away, you'll be able to as a direct TV now, now at t TV now customer, buy this box and use it if you so choose. But your packages and your channel lineup and your terms and all that kind of stuff will be different depending on which service and which package you pick. Keep that in mind. Now, to me, it seems like AT&T should have just gone and said, hey, let's uh, have AT&T TV be this one big service with a low-end set of packages, which were the DirecTV packages, uh, DirecTV Now ones. The higher end would be the rebranded DirecTV packages, uh, but AT&T didn't hire me, didn't ask me. So we're going to have to deal with this confusion for some time going forward, I bet. If you have any questions on this, if you've got the update, let me know. Hopefully in the next couple weeks, we'll see this on Roku, Fire TV, and Apple TV. If you ever notice it live there, let us know. We'll do an updated video showing the differences there. But honestly, again, don't expect anything different. What I'm seeing here is exactly the same as it was with um, the DirecTV version of this Osprey box. The only difference is they changed the loading screen to say at t TV. If you have any questions, let us know. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, it will really help us. And hopefully we can help you break free from the high cost cable TV and still watch the shows you enjoy. Thanks for watching. We do videos like this every day with daily core cutting news, first looks at new apps and new services, reviews, how to guides, and even weekly core cutting Q and A's every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern right here on YouTube. So join us, hopefully we can help you break free from that high cost of cable TV.